For our final video of Smash Month, we're not just going big. We're not going huge. We're going well to a place that we didn't think we could go, but we will. Everything but the kitchen sink, almost. Boy, is this gonna be spectacular. We're making a beef blend that will include A5 Wagyu, 90 day dry aged ribeye, and short rib. Oh, stop it, stop it. I could make a, a patty out of that and eat it and it would be incredible without everything else we're doing. And what else are we doing? We're gonna butter poach a lobster tail. We're gonna make a little bone marrow aioli for underneath. And? We'll sear some foie gras. And as if that wasn't enough, we're going to 24 karatize our top bun. Remember Goldfinger? This is gold bun and it's gonna be great. We'll start with our bone marrow because frankly, that takes longer than anything. And that's not really a long time. 20 minutes or ish. Let's go. Marrow bones. This is a bone. These two, not these two, but they come like this. It's like a femur of the cow and it would be like this. So they clean them up mostly. They cut them lengthwise and this is what you end up with. Sometimes they cut them into posts. I don't like the posts. I like the planks like a canoe. And this is the part we want. This gorgeous marrow that runs throughout these bones. So I took these yesterday, put them in salt, water overnight and it got rid of most of the red blotchiness. I mean, what we're doing with it, you don't have to, but if you were gonna present it like this, you might want to. We're only doing two things. One is a little splitch of olive oil, nice olive oil on top. And then we season with a little BFF, salt, pepper, garlic, and that's it. And these guys could go in the oven at the 350 degrees for 20, 30 minutes. They could go on a smoker or you could put them on your grill. I've set the grill up for two zone cooking. That side's hot, this side is well, it's warm from this, but there's no flame underneath it. And that lets me use this grill now like an oven. These guys go on and you want to be doing this in a little tray like this because there's so much fat and collagen in these marrow pieces that will start to leak out. You'll see it in here after. So that's it. They're there. It's probably honestly 25 ish minutes. We'll close this and we'll make some patties. And there's the lineup. Allow me to point out what we have. What you got here is your basic A5 Wagyu. It's expensive, it's super fatty, it's delicious. But for extra, oh, beefy flavor, we've got our short rib here. And then just to drive home the point of the beef-tasticness of everything, we have our own house dry-aged 90-day ribeye. And I've cut them in small pieces so they go in to the feeding tube properly. At this point, the only thing left to do is grind. Contact. I'll do one piece of each as we go. Wagyu. Short rib, I love the color change. Ribeye, Wagyu, short rib and ribeye. And we're there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's put this together into a couple balls. All right, now what have we said before when we grind our own beef? What you don't want to do is smash it together. We're gonna do that, of course, because these are smash patties. So we'll just mix these loose strands up a little bit. And then all I need to do is turn it into two relatively equal sized balls. I can hear that kid out there doing. That's what he or she said and get in trouble because he learned it from Max. So I've explained that keeping these relatively loose is a benefit because it lets the juices run free in between all of these. Thereby, le hey, thereby leading to a much juicier end product. Okay, with this done, I can set these aside. We will now start to poach our lobster. By the way, before we do, Here's our bone marrow. Remember what I said about the juices? Look at that. That is gold. And this, oh, it's done. It's giving up the ghost, man. All right, I'm taking this off the heat. It's beautiful, it smells amazing. We want it to cool though, so we can make it into an aioli. Now, the lobster. And that's what we're dealing with, lobster tail. Lovely little guy, isn't it? So here's what I like to do. I got some good kitchen shears. I'm gonna go underneath the shell, just on top of the meat, and cut all the way down to the tail. I normally would put a knife in here and cut down, but I wanna keep this piece of meat as intact as I can. And now I wanna get my work my fingers underneath, just like this. Thumbs work well, separating, separating. And I wanna pull this piece out all by itself until we have this like that. And there we have it. Beautiful little piece of lobster meat that we will now poach. Let's go to the little pot, boys. Outside of our lobster, we'll be using a stick of butter, a little lemon juice, 
and some vermouth that will go in first. Oh boy, didn't want it to be that hot. So we'll give it a couple tablespoons and now we'll start introducing butter. And we will whisk as they go in. This pot doesn't sit here perfectly. So I'm gonna end up having to do this holding, which is not a problem. We'll just add these one or two at a time to let them melt. Shit, fuck. God, that just went everywhere. Wait. Shit, fuck. Nobody move. I can't work like this. Do you need a new pot? No. You want a pot that is not too big so the lobster kind of is submerged with the butter. I'll make it work. Stupid thing. Shit, fuck. Why me? Why me? Okay, just continue until all of your butter has been melted and incorporated into your little not fitting properly on your burner. When the last of the butter is melted, you wanna make sure that it's not bubbling, so turn it down a little bit. You want it very, you want the waters very calm. We're gonna give it a little, a couple squeezes of lemon juice, and then we take our lobster tail, a little salt and pepper, and then we'll slip him into his butter bath. Nice. So we're gonna go maybe uh, two minutes aside, just until he's opaque. Fantastic. And when your beautiful little piece of lobster is opaque and somewhere between 135 and 140 degrees, he or she is done. Take him out, let it cool a bit, and we're gonna deal with the bone marrow next. Here's our bone marrow, remember? And watch how it comes out, just like that. Big, luscious pieces of fatty collagen. This spread on some grilled bread with chimichurri is one of the great joys in life. And a recipe in the next cookbook. Won't be able to next year by the way. But you can't really deal with it like this. In fact, I can't seem to fucking deal with it at all. Look, I could put this in a processor, but I don't really want to. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna cut it up. Oh Lord. If you've never had bone marrow and you can get your head around it, you really gotta get some. They're not expensive. You see they're easy to cook and made into a butter or an aioli like we're gonna do. So when you're all chopped up, get ourselves a bowl. We'll just use the meaty part. What would you call that? The bits? The marrow. The marrow. <laughs> Well, I meant that as opposed to the oil part. We had a little mayo. Not too much because we want it to be marrow centric. A tiny bit more salt and pepper. Another little bit of lemon juice, parsley. And what we have just made is ridiculous. Let's deal with the top. You're gonna like this a lot. This is a beautiful little brioche bun. We favor brioche here, we like it. This is a little stack of, wait for it, because it's so hard to open. Another effer. Here we go. Wrong end. This is, wait for it, 24 karat gold leaf paper that's hard to deal with. In the wind, it's hard to deal with by itself, but in the wind, it's really tough. This is lemon juice that will help it adhere. So I'm just gonna lightly brush the top and then wait do you see how ridiculously beautiful. Emphasis on ridiculously. There we go. Perfect, look what I brought. I asked Kelly for a little brush. Well, I asked Kelly to borrow a makeup brush. She was okay with it. She doesn't use this one anymore. Look at that. All right, let's just keep going. But you can see it's like the absolute lightest stuff on the planet. And there we are. It was a pain in the butt. A royal 24 karat pain in the butt. Beautiful. Only thing left to do now, let's hit the grill. Who's excited? Yeah. Woo. So let's do this. We go oil. We go oil. You know, we've done this. This is our 12th time this month. I'm a little sad, actually, boys. I'm a little sad. One beautiful triple blend. There, our smasher, and down we go. And we lift. Fantastic. And our friend. Wagyu short rib and 90-day dry-aged ribeye. Come on. Keep your shit together there, son. You just... Not taking long, really isn't. And as soon as we flip, we're adding cheese, and then we're almost there. Man, this is gorgeous. A little BFF, I forgot. Hey, look at this. Ah, the bone marrow aioli nonsense. All right, time to flip. Let's do it. We loosen, we loosen, and we go. Maybe the most gorgeous crust of all time. We're adding aged white cheddar to both of those. They're melting, but now right in front of me, the last item we have to cook, the couple slices of beautiful foie gras, fatty goose liver, 
This is about 30 seconds a side with nothing. Oh boy, look at that. It doesn't even want to stay in one spot. Look, it's cooking in the grease of the burgers. Life is great. Patties are coming off. These guys are getting flipped like that and like that. Another couple seconds. Boys, this is all happening way too fast. Who's ready? Fine, I'm ready. Take these guys off. Look at that buttery goodness. Let's go. Bun down, looking great. Bone marrow deliciousness. And hey, just have a little gold leaf with your bone marrow there, son. Perfect. Patties. Oh my God, look at them. You should smell them from here. I'm sorry you can't. And now our lobster. Goodness gracious. How is this not going to be an outstanding damn bite? What else could we have done here, lads? I don't think anything. You know what's next? Anybody? So now our foie gras. And by the way, the two pieces that I had just didn't look like enough. So right at the last minute, I threw one more on, giving us a total of tres like that. That looks like enough, don't you think? And if it wasn't obvious, the only other thing left is this guy. And down we go. Oh my, oh my, look at what we have done. Let's recap, shall we? You got your bottom 24 karat gold leaf bun, the bone marrow aioli. Then you got your double patties with a blend of Wagyu short rib and a 90 day aged ribeye. Then you got your butter poached lobster on top of that, followed by beautifully seared foie gras, top with the majestic Again, 24 carat gold leaf brioche bizzle bun. Okay, so there's a little, I don't know if you can see this. There's a little dripping here. I don't know what that is, but I'm telling you that's the most delicious shit in the world. Oh my God, it's so rich. God, all right, here we go. Please hold together. Oh. Okay, so here we go and look at what we're dealing with and it's the most majestic thing ever. And I'm going right here because the foie is sticking right out and I want that. Is there gold all over my face? You got a 24 karat face right now. Oh my God. Brioche is buttery. The foie gras is buttery. The bone marrow aioli is buttery. This Wagyu ribeye short rib combo is buttery. The whole thing is just effing stupid. Um, look. Mm. I've been gold off my face. Look what I'm dealing with. Best burger we've ever made? I, I think it might be. I know I think we've called that best before, but look what's in it. Look what's on top of it. Holy S. We could not have crowned Smash Month any better. We couldn't have. Thank you for hanging out. If you haven't watched all of them, go watch all of them because they're equal. They're close to being this delicious. Look at the shit's dripping down my arm. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Go to stcg.com to buy stuff. You won't be sorry. Holy God. Holy God. End this so the boys can try it quick.